Welcome to another video. Valentine's Day is right around the corner. So if I don't get to see you guys before Val no, after Valentine's Day, happy Valentine's Day. I hope that everybody enjoyed your Valentine's Day, whether you're single or not. I hope that you have a great Valentine's Day. Just want to put that out there. Anyways, today's video is very important for anybody wanting to become a nail tech at home or from an apartment complex like myself. One of the biggest things that you need to worry about when becoming a nail technician when you're at an apartment is the smell of monomer. Now monomer, many people don't like the smell of monomer. Personally me, I've always loved the smell of monomer even though it's not good for you. It's never bothered me even when I do or have gone to like the nail salons, like the the smell of monomer doesn't bother me, but um, just because it doesn't bother me, it doesn't bother other people. So just be super aware of that, and I'm going to show you guys the solution to get rid of that monomer smell so that your other apartment, I don't know, neighbors don't smell it, or your landlord, or nobody um, gets to smell it besides you in that moment that you are applying uh, acrylic with monomer. So I'm going to give you the two biggest secrets and along other things that are, are also uh, a solution to getting rid of the monomer smell. The reason I'm saying that is because when I started using monomer here in my apartment, I didn't realize that it was going to be a really big problem. I didn't even know that it spread out into like other units. I do, like I said, I live with family, but like still it is a problem because like I said, not everybody likes the smell of monomer and it is a very strong smell. Uh, what was happening was that I started using the monomer and um, monomer has a really strong smell and it's like it evaporates. So like, and it never stops smelling. So even if you throw in the trash, like it's gonna find its way out of the bag and into the air and keep that smell lingering around the air. That was a problem because the landlord was having issues with like the back door. Like even though I kept the doors closed, the smell was still coming out, somehow finding its way out the creases and into the hallways and obviously affecting other people in the building uh, with the smell. So like it is a problem. So just keep that in mind. But like I said, I have a solution for you if you guys wanna become a nail tech from your apartment. This is definitely, definitely the solution because for a second I was worried that like I was not gonna be able to do at home nails. Uh, so I was a little bit bummed out, but I was so determined to find a solution because like I really needed to make this work because this is what I wanna do. Like I said, I really wanna become a nail technician. I am gonna become a nail technician and uh, I just like, my goal was to be able to work from home. But I did a lot of research and like I said, I found a solution. So anyways, I'm gonna show you guys around and I'm gonna show you exactly what you need and things that you don't need so that you don't spend your money because I did end up spending money that I did not need to spend on things that I thought was gonna be the solution, but not. So anyways, I'm gonna save you guys some money and yeah, let's get into it. Okay, we're first off. We're gonna start off with my station. As you guys could see, it is very clean and organized. That is how you wanna keep it at all times because it shows presentation, organization, and quality. When your clients come in, it shows that like you clean and that it's, that you're very obviously clean and that you care about them. So that is very important for you to do. You know, and you know, the, the much cleaner it is, the less odor there will also be. So always clean your station after every client. I have a bottle of Barbicide back there. Mix the way it's supposed to be mixed. You have to follow the instructions in the back. Follow them as is when you mix your Barbicide. So yeah, I have a, I have a bottle back there that I spray my table with to disinfect it for the next client to come in. So that is also very important. Take off all the dust, remove all the dust, the odors that are on the table 
table, okay? So that is very important, guys, to always keep your station and the area around your station very clean. Another thing is, as you guys can see, my floors are very, very clean. I like to sweep and mop with Fabuloso, which brings out a really nice, pleasant smell. Uh, so it smells also nice and clean so that your floors are clean and also smelling really, really good. So that is also very, very important. Here is the number one secret, guys, about reducing the odor to the monomer, which is as simple, as easy as getting yourself a trash can with a lid. Make sure that the trash can has a lid because then you're going to trap all the smells in here and um, it closes up and then the, the vapor smells are going to remain in there until you throw them away. Make sure that you throw this garbage away after each client. Do not leave it here overnight and think that the smell is just going to evaporate and go away because it is not, guys. This smell is not going to go away. This is empty. Okay, this is empty, but every time I open it, I still get that monomer smell. So just keep that in mind, guys, that this has to be a closed... You have to have a closed lid trash can for you uh, to be able to reduce the amount of the smell. Um, and you have to empty out the trash can every single time after a client so that the smell uh, goes away. Okay, remember, don't keep the trash in there and think that the smell is going to go away and that it's going to be okay because the smell, the odor, the vapor will come out, find its way out even though you don't open it and make itself um, out of there and into the air around your station area or wherever this is. Okay, so just that is very, very important. That is secret number one to reducing the odor of monomer in your apartment or house if you are going to be an at-home nail technician, okay? Secret number two, guys, and this is very, very, very important, okay? Uh, it's not chapel, I promise you. It is these air extractors that go on your window seal, guys, and I have two of them. I have one right here, and I have one right there, and the good thing is that my station is right here so that all the odors are being pulled out and extracted into uh, outside, like directly outside, because I don't have a ventilation system where it like is in the wall and out, obviously because I live in an apartment, so these guys are the number two biggest thing. I, actually, I think that these are number one um, to the garbage trash but I think that they're both these two guys are number one like these two things these air extractors are very very important if you live in an apartment because this is what's gonna um pull the odor out directly as soon as it's like in the air and just extract it out the window and uh odor is gone okay and I just take these out at night and I put my windows back down they're very easy to put on the window and take off I will link them down in the description box below and the cool thing about these is that it has two fans okay so all i have to do and it comes with a really neat remote power it on um set it to exhaust and then up here it has low medium or high i always put it on high and it become it becomes a little bit silent after it like adjusts um but that is how it is guys and all the air is being pulled out and no more odors so that is this is very 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 important guys if you are going to be in an apartment or at home nail technician um this is going to reduce not not only reduce but it's going to get rid it's going to get rid of the odor of the monomer in the room with these okay so if you do not have these guys the, the monomer is going to stay in there i used to think that Okay, I'm going to open up a window and it's going to go directly outside. That was not a solution, guys. Opening up a window is only going to pull air in and it's only going to make the monomer smell go like this. It's only going to rotate inside of your house. You need an air extractor that's going to pull out air and pull the odor out into the outside and then, you know, do its thing out there. So, very, very important 
I'm gonna link it down below. It's very inexpensive and these are really neat because it comes with a control. It's two fans and one. I would say just get one and make sure, or if it's possible, have your station right next to the window so that the odor, the vapor is going directly out the window, okay? So just keep that in mind, guys. You need an air extractor and a trash can with a lid. And that is gonna be your solution to your neighbors not complaining or even ever knowing that you are doing nails downstairs or wherever, upstairs, wherever it is. Uh, because trust me, monomer will make, make its way outside into other people's apartments. You have no idea how, but trust me, the smell, even though I had the, the doors closed, the smell was going upstairs to my sister-in-law's apartment and I have no idea how. Um, another thing that is super duper important here in my apartment um, is that this is my living room and then coming out here is like directly out here is, let me show you. I think you guys know if you guys have been hanging around. Is my kitchen and like my room, the bathroom. And then back there I have a door that goes into the back side, but like there's other there's a hallway that goes that goes up and down. Um where the smell was making its way out into the hallway and also affecting the people out there um that don't like the smell of monomer. So it was a really big problem. So what I did, okay, let me show you. What I did is that I got this, these like hooks from Amazon and I had the landlord install them so that I wouldn't mess up the walls because the Lord knows I would have messed up the walls. But he helped me put it into the wall and I put a double, okay, double drapes. You see, the, this one's like super, super thick um, and this one's thin, but I would get both of them thick if I could. I got this one from Ikea. It's very, very thick. So if you guys could get some really thick, long drapes that go all the way to the floor, guys, all the way to the floor so that there is absolutely no crease or nick that, the, that there's going to be any air coming out of that room over here. So like if you guys go into that room and I'm doing like nails and it's the smell of monomer, you will not be able to smell anything if you come out over here. Sorry, my bathroom, <laughs> but like zero smell. So, um, like I said, guys, even though like I'm doing nails over there, the vapor goes all the way over here. It goes everywhere and it comes out that door into like, I'm telling you, monomer is weird. So coming back over here, like I said, the monomer is really, really weird. It makes itself out in a very unknowingly way okay so what I did is I also hung these like really cute fairy lights that I got fairy lights that I got from Amazon to make it extra extra cuter and I left these from Christmas I just think they look so pretty but um yeah just make it look pretty and like when I'm not doing nails all I have to do is just like bring the drape to the side and it just looks really cute like honestly solution solved I'm telling you when I tell you that I have solved the the odor of monomer in my place, I have solved it. So yeah guys, those are the three solutions or the solutions in an apartment. So if you guys have, if you guys could reduce the amount of space inside your area where you're gonna be doing nails at your apartment, like even if it's a little room um, with windows, trust me, even if it's, if, even if you think that if you're in a room, and it doesn't have windows or like you don't have the air extractors, the smell is gonna make its way out. I don't know how, but it does. And it sucks when other people don't like the smell. I don't blame them, it's a very strong smell. Um, so yeah, those are my solutions and I hope that these are able to help you out. But guys, if you guys are planning to do nails from home, or an apartment, importantly from an apartment because you got other people living there. It's not your crib and people are gonna complain because they pay rent there too. So, um, air extractors. Okay, these that I have, I'm gonna link them down below because these are amazing. It's It has two fans and one and they work well. Okay, when I tell you that I recommend them a thousand percent, I recommend them a thousand percent. I'm gonna link them down below. Um, you need a garbage can with a lid, okay? And um, if you have like a, a space like this where it doesn't have a door um, and there's a, another door, uh, put one of these drapes, 
thick one though, okay? A thick one and a long one that it covers from top to bottom. Like no spaces, no open spaces, and you know, just, just make it work. Let me, though, let me really quick show you guys what you should not get and spend or waste your money on um, because this is what I wasted my money on. It was like legit like 80 bucks I think or close to $80 and honestly it doesn't work for nothing. Okay, says um, it's called an air purifier. You would think that it would help but it does not help. It didn't for me. Like it legit did nothing for me. Uh, did nothing for me. I don't know what to say. I don't even know if it does anything. I just keep it on at night sometimes just to kind of I guess reduce the dust in the air. If it even does do, I don't know guys. Just don't waste your money on an air purifier. Okay, I bought this one on Amazon. This is what it looks like. I have it over there in the corner. Um, I would have it on while using monomer and doing sets, but like the smell was still in the air. It wasn't extracting it, and obviously it's not because like if you think about it, it's right there. There's nothing being expelled out into the outside so therefore it's like it's just the the smell of the monomer is just rotating rotating and rotating and rotating around the room and nothing's happening so do not get one of those if you think that that's going to be the solution to getting rid of the monomer smell in your apartment get an air extractor that goes directly on your window and expels the vapor odor directly to the outside and that is like literally all i hope that this video helps you out and again if you guys have any questions to an upcoming video like i don't know like what do you guys want to know what else do you guys want to know i just think that this video is very 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 important for anybody out there trying to become a nail technician from your apartment or even your house this is just very important even for like your business like if you guys want to start a business and you guys want to know uh how to get rid of that monomer smell um this is a great solution legit odor zero zero miha zero okay anyways guys i love you guys so so much by the way let me show you guys really quick my can you guys see it my what is it called valentine's day nails they're so pretty they're clear with like little hearts and glitter and diamonds and they're just so beautiful i love them love them so much i did it myself guys thank you <laughs> okay guys anyways love you guys so so much Remember, if you guys have any other questions, leave them down in the comments down below, and I would be more than happy to answer them for you. Love you guys, and I will see you guys on my next video. Bye.